tonight of an Everett convenience store clerk fighting back against an armed robber. You can see the robber actually come over the counter there, and that's when the clerk picks up a chair and hits him. Now, after taking off, that same suspect led police on a chase and actually managed to evade capture for hours. WBZ's Christina Hager is live in Everett tonight with more on the story. Christina? David, it was a coincidence. Two Everett police officers happened to be on patrol out here when they saw the owner of this store running after someone with a baseball bat. Today, the suspect was in court. Commonwealth versus Gianni Mazza, please step up. It was a harrowing night for Gianni Mazza and everyone he's accused of coming into contact with. From the owners of this swimming pool in Revere, where his van had to be pulled out of the water, to the store clerk he allegedly confronted with a replica gun in Everett. The moment he walked in the door, I saw him with a mask, so I know uh, something is up. He come in here, he showed me the gun, he said he demanded money. Finally, he tried to jump over the counter. That's when Kiet no, who'd been robbed five times before, reached for his chair first, then his baseball bat. Surveillance shows him swing the chair at the would-be robber, sending a cascade of candy flying from the counter as he escaped. Outside video shows the clerk chasing him to the spot where police say Maza jumped into his van, leading them on a chase that ended with the van submerged in a couple's pool in Revere. It wasn't until hours later, police say they found Mazza hiding out on a stretch of railroad tracks. Now facing six serious charges, his wife in court saying he's struggling with an opioid addiction. I feel bad. I mean, he's my husband. He's my best friend. I hate seeing him like that. Back at the store where it began. Well, definitely unlucky because I shouldn't do that, to be honest with you. But he's glad Mazza didn't get away and glad he may have had a hand in that. The judge set Maza's bail at $100,000 cash because he said he does have a lengthy criminal history and now he can add armed robbery and reckless driving to his arrest record. In Everett, Christina Hager, WBZ News.